Smiley. Lovely overhead from Capriati. She's leading 4-3. It's, it's she now. 30-15 on serve, but a very difficult opponent for Jennifer. Well, I spoke with Jennifer Capriati before she came out here, and she told me that she knew nothing about this girl, had never played her before, and then I looked up in my notes, and apparently ha they have played before. So Jennifer Capriati was the loser. Maybe that's why she tried to get rid of that memory completely. But uh, yeah, no one had held serve until the previous game, where Capriati eventually did. Had six breaks of serve in a row. Chinese lady has terrific power in her ground strokes. A weak serve. Is a wild card entry into this year's Australian Open. It has done well to win two rounds so far. Yes, well, she beat Capriati in the first round of the 1996 French Open. Jennifer doesn't remember it. <laughs> so she's erased that. Probably a good idea. 40-15 now for Yi, who's poised to hold serve for the first time in the match. She trails 3-4. So Yi does hold serve, and we're all square. Four games all in this opening set. Four games all. So still early days there, but a bit of a black clouds are coming across Melbourne Park. So Capriati's just had a look up at those clouds and wants to finish this match. Capriati is doing her very best to try and take a stranglehold of this match in the second set. But Yi is staying with us so far. Still struggling on a serve. But running down a lot of balls, making Capriati play that one extra shot. So now Yi has a break point. It's four all second set. So it's pretty tough. Yi, who's done very well, it's been a competitive match. But Capriati with a chance to go through to the round of 16. And that's long. So Capriati 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. She'll play the winner of Schneider and Petrova, which is currently into the third set. So she's having a bit of a run now. Jennifer Capriati, big favourite here, looks happy. It's great to see her playing some very good tennis at 23 years of age. Back to